Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. And this is gonna be a quick video on some of the coloring tools that I've used in the Animals Gone Zen running horse. Um, this has been an exercise for my classes in how to use colored pencils. And the ones that we are primarily using in this class are the Faber-Castell watercolor pencils as well as some intense pencils. And I'm just gonna zoom in here real quick. These are the Polychromos, I believe, uh, Faber-Castell, as well as some of the um, Goldfarber Aquas. Um, they come in a wide range of colors. In fact, these colors that you can see here, the yellows are in the horse, uh, the blues are in the neck, um, and, and some of the pinks that are the pinks out here, they're up here in this uh, flower. Uh, the reason I like to use watercolors in addition, oops, excuse my finger, in addition to the ink tense pencil is that they actually come in much lighter colors. I mean, if you look at those yellows and the pinks there, you will not find an ink tense pencil that can get that light unless you dilute it uh, very strongly with fabric medium to the point that it becomes just tinted fabric medium, which you can do. There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like that the watercolors are a quick and easy way to get the shade that you want and do it in such a way that you can use them in, in effect the same way that you use ink tense pencils. Now I've colored this and I'm going to do a quick demo on how I would, you know, blend these colors. Let me find a decent paintbrush. Lately, it seems like I've been messing up all my paintbrushes and I can't find a, a good one to use. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna dip the brush in the fabric medium and I'm gonna come over here to this pink. And these are actually two shades of pink. And just like what we've done with ink tense pencils, I'm gonna put it down and work from the top, which is where I want my deeper color. And I only colored to about two thirds of the way down and I wanna drag the rest of that color. Here, let me get this over so you can see it. I wanna drag the color down so that it gives me a pale effect as I come down into there. Now, these take a little bit more work uh, to actually work the color around than an ink tense pencil. Um, there is a binder that is made with the pigment uh, to create watercolors. They are meant to be soluble. I'm gonna get some more uh, fabric medium. Um, but they're not quite the same intensity as ink tints, so you have to work them a bit in order to get the colors to blend. But as you can tell, you know, I'm doing a pretty good job. I really want this to be as faint as possible. In fact, maybe I don't even want any color down there. Um, I can always come back and put it in later. But what I really want is that really nice pale pink that I just simply can't get with an ink tense pencil. So that looks great, I'm very happy. Um, so then I would come through and all I would do is just exactly what I did there with the pink um, to get that nice blended effect, just like we do with ink tense pencils. You know, also just like we do with ink tints, I could come in after it's wet and maybe I wanna put a little bit more color in and so you can come in while it's wet and oh look, see it's that nice deep rich color. The same thing that you can get with an ink tense pencil. And then likewise, come back in with your brush and blend that again. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, so hopefully everybody understands, you know, why I'm using this. But I want to talk about some of the other watercolor tools that are out there so that you can get an idea of what you could use going forward. Um, this set in front, I'm going to pull the lid down so that you can see it. It's called Karen Dosh. They're made in Geneva. They are water soluble wax pastels. Now I have become very fond of these. Um, they're very, very easy to use with fabric medium. In fact, I'm not even gonna take them out. I'm just gonna come up here and rub the little tip of the crayon. And then I'm gonna come over. Oh, and it's really super water soluble. I mean, these are great. Um, well, maybe you can tell, maybe you can't, but I'm gonna come in here and lay some of that color down. 
um, and bring it down into here. In fact, let's get some more. Um, just getting you know, what I had off of there. And let's come back into the area that I already colored. And just bringing in, it's a very pale, pale, pale pink. I mean, I think that's why I like these is because I just didn't really have anything. And I'm gonna pull this out actually, so that you can see it even better. So, and you can come in and color directly in here. And this is very, 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 oops, let me back up. So maybe if I back away, you can see, ah, there we go. You can see a little bit better the color. I mean, this is so pale that it's even actually hard for me to see even as I'm applying it, but it was on the brush. And this is getting a nice, nice, very pale pink that you just cannot get with watercolor. Okay, so that's the Caran d'Ache. Um, they're called Neo Color Twos. And they, this is just their, their 50 color set. No, maybe it's not even that. Uh, no, it's 30 color but they do come up into 50 colors. And uh, you can just take a look, real, real, really nice colors. Not the cheapest in the world, um, but go to Jerry's Artorama and Dick Blix. I will not be selling these on my website. Um, I can't purchase these through my wholesaler. Um, so the only place that I'm gonna recommend that you get these is from Dick Blix or Jerry's Artorama. Um, and they're gonna run, this set will probably run you about, 40 to $50, but if you look at all those colors, um, I don't think you'd really need many more than that. I and mean, if you got a few extra bucks, spend on, the, on the, the entire 50. Okay, now the next thing I wanna show you is this is a typical water cake, watercolor cake. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, you can probably already see I've been making colors. Um, I'm just gonna kind of come up here to this yellow and I'm going to rub a little bit Oh, see, I'm already getting color. Uh, you can see it as, as, as it comes over onto the pan. And very, very nice. Um, I'm just gonna come down here. I'm, I don't really have a place on the horse yet that I can use this, so I'll just come down here and show you that you can actually then put this in your pan and then dip your fabric medium and maybe go to, oh heck, I don't know. Let's get this kind of ochre color get it going, and then come down here and mix the two together. Um, to me, this is the other beauty about these watercolor cakes. Notice they're very, very water soluble. Lots and lots of color. Um, let me just see here, I know. I'll come down here and put this just a little bit along. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice bit of shading for the tail of the horse, and it goes on beautifully. Very, very happy with using water cakes. In fact, um, I may kind of start creating classes that do nothing but um, use these watercolor cakes. Um, the other thing that I'm finally gonna show you, if I can find them here on the table. My table's a mess right now. I won't show this in public. Um, you get to see just a very small bit of it, but um, I've got so many classes going on, it's kind of hard to find space. Okay, sorry. Um, actually, I'm gonna grab the orange or maybe what this is called is uh, vermilion. Looks pretty orange to me, but hey, if they wanna call it vermilion, that's fine. And I'm gonna show you that this is, mm, it's kind of a paste, and I'm just gonna put a tiny, ooh, ooh that's even more than I really wanted to do. Um, you have to be careful with these tubes. They come out really super easy. I mean, I'm gonna have to probably scoop that up and use it somehow, but Again, taking the fabric medium, and you can come in here, and oh, that's a really, really nice color. Um, I had some of that yellow still on my brush. It mixes well. Um, but this is this is really um, even probably easier than the, the Inktense pencils. You can get some really great color. Um, let's see here. Oh, I know, I'm gonna come over here to his little nose, and I'll put a little bit of this um, right here, um, just right in the kind of top. And you see how nice this goes on. Oh, just beautiful color, absolutely gorgeous. So there you have it. And, and, and um, you can also come in, by the way, and get more fabric medium, um, get it wet. And I'm gonna just come back in and put a little bit more color here. Sorry for the video. I don't have my camera set up really properly right now, so I'm just doing this with my iPhone. 
So you can see good, 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 good color. Really like how this looks. Blends well, not maybe quite as blendable as the Inktense pencils, um, but certainly it should be something in your arsenal of coloring tools to use in coloring on fabric. So there you have it. This is the Animals Gone Zen running horse. The requirements for this horse is that you do it all in watercolor. Of course, as always, if you choose to do it your own way, that's perfectly all right. But the instructions are specifically for watercolor. Um, however, if you have any questions about doing it in an alternative method, as always, don't hesitate to call me at 303-818-3625, or you can text or email Medina Dom Arts, M-E-D-I-N-A-D-O-M-A-R-T-S at AOL.com. As always, thanks so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.